hi everybody i hope you are doing well again another lab with another features with new services and new skills you will learn today we are going to achieve a very useful lab that contains many things that we will build together and you will benefit from it a lot this lab contains many things and many stuff that you will learn will learn together so in this lab I try to create or to implement the VPN between your AWS account then between your corporate data center and for abbreviation I will call it DC it stands for data center so to create secure communication between your data center and your AWS organization will create a VPN between them so in our data center we will have our Kubernetes that is deployed on, on our data center and in our AWS organization we will have Jenkins and Sybil and all the, the, the CICD pipeline tools we will create the artifact here then we will deploy them on our DC or on our data center so in this lab we will new we will learn new new things for example AWS directory service it is an active directory that is implemented on AWS also we will know the domain controller and then another thing new that instead of using code build we will use Jen Jenkins instead we will also see the, the client VPN and then VPN gateway and open so on that is the implementation of IP tech protocol that we will create between our corporate data center and our AWS organization so let us jump to our AWS account and show you how these things are working under the hood so the first thing that I will do is I will create a second account right this second account it will be my data my corporate data center and then my first account it will be our AWS organization right I have already created a new account and then for my first account I will use it as my AWS organization and for the second account I will I will use it as my data center corporate so please keep watching and stay with me because I will teach you new stuff and more things right because in this lab I covered many things and they create and they give you a real time project that you can apply the same thing on your application either in Java application or in JavaScript application or whatever you want it is the same mechanism and the same steps that you should follow in any application you want to build just stay focused with me and stay implementing what I am doing here and at the end of this lab you will find that you have earned many stuff and many uh, and many skills here I will cover all the steps from creating VPC either on AWS either on because in this sorry because in this lab we will use two regions North Virginia region and then Oregon region in our data center corporate or in our corporate data center I will tell you why in this and uh, in, in in this lab I used North Virginia and I didn't use another region because in this North Virginia there are some services that are not or they are still not available on other regions for example our AWS directory service so without any further or anything more let us jump to the practice So the first thing that I am going to do
So the first thing that I'm going to do is I will implement our VPC that we will use this cider on North Virginia and this cider on the Oregon region in our corporate data center. So first thing I will do, this is my AWS account and the other one that I open it in private navigation, this will be our corporate data center or DC. So if you hear me telling DC, that stands for data center. The first thing that I will do is I will create a VPC. So first thing I have to change the region to the North Virginia. Then I start creating my VPC. If you are first time you creating a VPC, don't worry. I will explain you everything. If you have already familiar with VPC and how you create VPC subnet or tables, internet gateway, etc. You can skip this video and watch the the next videos so let me go to vpc and create my vpc here call it my vpc then in the cider i will give it this ip address 10.10.0.0 .10 .0 .0 slash 16 then go down here and create VPC next thing that I will do is I will create subnets within this VPC right and these subnets are reside within availability zones I'll create choose my my VPC then I'll call it public submit one for availability zone choose the first one and for the size or choose this one with zero change the four. Then hit create subnet. So this is my first subnet, then my second subnet, create subnet. Two. I will choose second availability zone then for the slider we will give it this IP address then create subnet another thing we have create this Subnet so my VPC zone three dot zero create another subnet 